Yes, all answers are correct considering engineering thermodynamics, which is the study of the relationship between work, heat, and energy. The term thermodynamics is originated from the Greek word therme, which means heat, and dynamics, which means power. And today, thermodynamics is widely known as the science of energy. Thermodynamics focuses mainly on heat exchange and studies the flow of heat, work, and their effect on, it, on energy. To understand thermodynamics, one must first understand that a thermodynamic process is when there involves an energetic change within the system. This is often associated with changes in pressure, volume, internal energy, or any sort of heat transfer. A thermodynamic process with no heat entering or exiting the system or no heat transfer is called an adiabatic process. Likewise, isochoric process involves constant volume and thus the system does no work. On the same note, an isobaric process involves constant pressure. And finally, an isothermal process is where the temperature remains constant. A quasi-equilibrium process is also a very important thermodynamic process, and it is when the state of the system is changed very slowly while it remains extremely close to the equilibrium state. Speaking of equilibrium, for a system to be in thermodynamic equilibrium, it must satisfy four equilibriums. Thermal, mechanical, phase, and chemical equilibrium. And speaking of systems, there are two thermodynamic systems, open and close. And in both systems, energy can cross into its surroundings. However, what distinguishes an open system is that it involves a constant volume as opposed to a closed system which involves constant mass. All these mentioned concepts are fundamentals to understanding thermodynamics perhaps as a course, but let's take one step back and look at thermodynamics in its entirety. There are two branches or approaches of thermodynamics analysis. First, the macroscopic view, and second, the microscopic view. The macroscopic view is derived from an experimental observation and does not consider the behavior of each individual particle, but rather interested in the average behavior of molecules, whereas the microscopic view utilizes a statistical method because the number of molecules involved are very large. Overall, the macroscopic view is considered the classical, while the microscopic view is considered statistical approach of thermodynamics. Classical thermodynamics only focuses on continua. Continuum is a modeling approach to a medium so that one can define macroscopically average properties. In other words, continuum is thus a set of elements such that there is no discontinuity and therefore between any two elements there is a third element which links the first two elements. In other words, continuous and homogeneous matter with no holes. For example, let's consider molecules in a microscopic view. Although there are spaces between the molecules, we may consider it as continuum due to the large number of molecules that are being analyzed as a whole. Now, to understand this continuum hypothesis that the classical thermodynamics is built on, let's pretend we are driving down the roads of Montreal. Now, we know that Montreal is definitely not known for the quality of its roads. Montreal roads are often being reconstructed for its poor quality, and the ride is often bumpy due to the holes and cracks in the roads. Considering these bumps as discontinuities, on the roads, we are taking a discrete approach, which takes into account the individual conditions that form the medium, in our case, these roads. Now, let us pretend that we are driving on the roads of Toronto, where cars slide like skates on a skating ring. In other words, a smooth and comfortable ride because Toronto roads are much smoother than that of Montreal's. A continuum approach would look at the roads of Montreal as if they are the roads of Toronto. This would mean that the Montreal roads would now be considered as a smooth sailing and all the holes in the road would be completely disregarded, which makes driving in Montreal the same as the ideal roads in Toronto. Now let the reason for this presumption be as a mental placebo effect so that it helps the driver driving on the roads of Montreal feel more comfortable and at ease. This presumption of idealizing the Montreal roads to that of Toronto 
is the continuum hypothesis, the same type of hypothesis adapted in thermodynamics classical view. And just like in our example where this hypothesis was made to yield benefits as a placebo effect for the driver, in classical thermodynamics this continuum approach is taken so that we are enabled to treat properties as point function and assume the properties change on a continuous basis, thus enabling us to apply various laws, principles, and formulas to better analyze, understand, and expand our knowledge on thermodynamics.